let's start understanding what is a problem which could be ai and what is a problem which can be solved by using rules so this slide will allow us to understand the exact difference between ai based system and rule based system so what is ai ai is artificial intelligence what is where does the intelligence of ai come from it comes from data so ai system learns from data and that's why they are called as learning based systems so if if it is machine learning if it is deep learning or if it is anything else it doesn't matter this is a learning based system and if you are coding something art coding something then that's a rule based system so let's try to understand few very key important things here okay so a traditional software a non ai system so traditional or a non ai example so this is non ai system which we can generally call it rule based what do we mean by rule based so the rule based system is like this you actually give let's say something so it's like there is input a to be converted into b okay when you understand the logic behind it you actually understand the rules which govern the transformation between a to b and once you understand the rule then you simply implement the rule you see because it is a rule based system it is completely deterministic okay on the other hand if we take a look at learning based system it is probabilistic so when we say probability what do we mean here if you are into physics you can easily understand this by two different kinds of example first quantum computing and the second may be newtonian so in newtonian uh, mechanics in newtonian physics you can identify any particle in its space at extremely precise coordinates its speed its velocity its location everything whereas in quantum you cannot get a precise location in quantum you get probability so if you take a look at let's say a atom so if you remember uh, physics let's say we have a atom and around the atom there is electron which is rotating so before you uh, learn advanced physics you actually gave there are uh, different types of orbits the first orbit is a circular orbit okay but if you learn advanced physics you will be actually told that this is a probability distribution and the probability of electron being in this circular orbit is highest but it doesn't mean that it will always be just there so for example according to quantum mechanics right now the probability of you disappearing from where you are right now and appearing at completely other end of earth this thing is called as quantum tunneling quantum tunneling is where you know some uh, something disappears and appears somewhere else so probability of you disappearing from where you are and appearing instantly at other place in let's say earth or somewhere else it is not zero so it can happen as long as there are enough people out of let's say maybe billions trillions or hexatrillions or there could be someone might actually spontaneously disappear and appear someone else so this is what we mean by probabilistic system it is based on data we don't talk about exact thing it is based on certain rules it based on how certain rules combine with each other this is how we can understand them so when we are learning from data how is a probabilistic system going to learn every time we learn this system can learn a different thing because it is not deterministic it can learn something else so that's why constantly monitoring what is happening so that it is learning the same or the thing which we want it to learn is very important whereas deterministic systems they are actually very predictable because they are deterministic you have a guarantee about how this system is actually going to behave so this is the key foundation of difference between rule based system and a learning based system so 
this is a ai system the the other is non ai system so in rule based system there it is solved by rules pretty simple in learning based system it still has rules underlying but they are either too many or too complex too complex to manually write down so uh, the best thing to explain it is called as butterfly effect so if we call it butterfly effect if you search what is butterfly effect the butterfly effect says that a butterfly flapping a wing in one continent leading to a tornado in other continent how can that happen you don't know because a butterfly flapping a wing uh, might cause for a certain this thing to happen it might cause for a certain certain threshold to increase that might you know uh, uh, you know combine with something else so too many factors so imagine butterfly effect as infinitely long dominoes touching each other and if something falls you don't know what is connected to that which is getting impacted by the previous thing so when there are such complex logical patterns present in the problem then it is a learning based system so let me ask you a question when you are learning english what was the book you referred to learn english grammar one of the most common books is ren and martin so if you studied ren and martin to understand english grammar now tell me are you recalling those rules while i am speaking i am speaking english you are understanding me in english but are you able to explicitly recall which rule am i following and which rule am i not are you doing such that rule based checking manually no because this thing speaking listening seeing all of these are very complex thing so this is has to be a learning based system so that's why this is a data driven system you see this is data driven because there are so many complex underlying rules here that it cannot be rule driven how will you program a system to understand simple english grammar how will you program it's too hard so that's the difference between rule based system when rules do not change when rules are simple then rule based system works new data simply conforms to new rules sorry new data simply conforms to old rules in a rule based system the rules are same data is new and if a new data comes which is not following the old rules it is not going to adapt to it whereas in a learning based system you simply retrain it on new data and it will learn the new rules which are present in that uh, data which was given to it so you see it is retrainable and here solution is not retrainable here okay and there is other thing so this thing is a very important thing let me just explain so if i ask you how did you understand what i said can you explain it you can't if i ask you how were you able to detect some person's face as that person will you able to explain it you can't you just know this is what we mean is the solution explainable or interpretable so if you say i am doing multiplication 11 into 11 121 can you explain how 11 into 11 was done yes because it is following a deterministic rules rules which are limited rules which we understand and rules which we can check so what is the process of multiplication 11 into 1 we say 1 1 and then we have this plus sign then another 1 1 1 and then we have 1 to 1 so we can follow those rules we can actually calculate the result and compare the result with what was given so solution is interpretable solution is explainable whereas in learning based system it is not so as you might notice that this actually causes a lot of problem in learning based system because it will give you a solution directly it can't tell you how it arrived at the solution so it is having a mad genius doctor okay a mad genius doctor will tell you okay trust me if you take this pill you will be cured okay but he can't explain how he arrived at that solution and that mad genius doctor might actually be wrong in that situation 
and you either might survive or you might immediately die so will you be able to trust that mad genius answer is no i would rather trust a genius whom i can check that's why this thing called as a second opinion is present in all medical thing we have this thing as second opinion because we can explain interpret understand and cross verify the solution so this is the key difference so even though it seems like learning based system is lacking actually when the reality is too complex then the only way we can solve is with learning based system so when the problem is complex it cannot be solved by rule based system it can only be solved by a learning based system so you have two options keep it unsolved means you get 0% accuracy or you solve it with learning based system where solution is not interpretable where solution is not explainable where it is a, a probabilistic system where it does not adapt to new patterns unless trend that is okay because you know something is better than nothing and this something is actually a very high quality you see in few years it might be as accurate as humans are in narrow tasks but let's take a look at that you know in detail in a different thing if you want you can refer a lecture which talks about human versus ai in that lecture it will tell you about what's the difference between narrow tasks and uh, wide tasks but for now hopefully you have understood the difference between rule based system and learning based system if you connect it to difference between a traditional programming and ai programming this will deepen your understanding so please do that and and in next lecture we will actually use this thing which we have learned to actually evaluate if some problem is a ai problem or not